Hello there, my name is Nate and I do the webcomic Jazz and Jess and as you can see this is part two of my videos of Jazz and Jess colouring. Uh, right, so let's start off. First thing I do is obviously you've seen the other video by now of me preparing the line art and as you can see by the drawing there I've left these little areas with little X's. Um, it's actually something I saw from the line art of Clayton Henry, who's a Marvel um, artist last I, last I heard, but I haven't really been keeping track. He could be working for DC for all I know by now. But anyway, what he does is he uses these areas and that's where the spot black would be. Um, and uh, since I decided to go to grayscale recently, I found that using big areas of spot black like this um, were generally really, really helpful when it came to um, the way that a scene would look. You know, just the layout and, and whatnot and making it, giving it a bit more depth or covering up, you know, big blank areas. Um, so as you can see, that's two panels done there. Uh, the last panel there, don't want to spoil it too much, but it's going to be a lot of static and, and whatnot, like a video recording. So I thought I'd leave that one for you. Um, and the, the thing about this video, I'm not going to spoil too much, so I'm not going to colour it all. What you're going to see is me colouring, you know, when I've finished all this black stuff here, uh, what you're going to see is me colouring uh, just the Doctor, who you've actually seen before in the comics. He was, uh, when Jazz had a nightmare um, about being turned into a zombie, it was that Doctor. You know, make of that what you will. But uh, yeah, so you know, as you get a bit fiddlier and fiddlier. And uh, what I like to do is, I like to, as you can see from the, it, well, if you can see, depending on the, the resolution of this video, on the far right hand side there, I've got a layer for the line work. Um, I set that to multiply. And uh, obviously, once you've unlocked it, uh, I usually use like cut and paste and then set it to multiply, and that way then I can colour underneath the line art without having to go over it. It's something I learned after a lot of trial and error before I found out oh yeah there are loads and loads of tutorials online that teach you this kind of thing because I'm a twat <laughs> um, anyway so so uh, yeah and then I, I generally have the background layer uh, which I colour uh, an off-white shade I usually go with grey um, and uh, a colouring or colours um, layer above that um, but because of the fact that this black should really be part of the line art but I don't want it to um, affect the line art, or you know, go over it in any way, shape, or form. So what I did is I set it behind the line art, and actually behind the colours as well, so I can you know scribble over as much as I want in the colouring stage, um, and uh, should be should be a nice little effect. Um, and like I said, I don't want to spoil too much about this comic because it's it's going up this Friday, and if you want to see the finished result, you'll see it on Friday, um, UK time, first thing in the morning. And uh, if you saw the other video, you saw me actually putting this image in here, this copy and paste, copy paste, ah, um, this was the idea I generally wanted to do, it's like a static from a video file, like the video file is corrupt and it's uh, lagging or juddering or whatnot. So, uh, so I thought I'd put that one in there and that's the general idea about that, so I've done both now, that's good. Let's go to the colours section, save it, there we go. And what I always do, I always use the same colours um, for my different comics, so uh, Say for example, if I'm picking Jazz's hair, it's always the same shade. I'd just pick it from the previous comic. However, because this Doctor was in a much pre, much more previous comic, um, I've just gone back through the archives there to try and find him. He's loading up now, and here we go. There he is. So first thing I do, skin tone and shade. And uh, when it comes to colouring, I, I like to go through and do mostly every bit of that colour in the image. Uh, in the whole comic, so if there's you know three or four characters all with the same skin tone, I'll go through and I'll do all of the all of the, oh, see uh, made a mistake there going over the black. Um, yeah, I'll go through all of the all of the characters, do all of the skin on it, all of them, and then shade all of it, and then move on to say the eyes. You know, I'll, I'll do every bit of colour um, on the comic of that same shade, just to make sure it's all done. Um, so yeah. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I like to use the, um, you know, use the pen, the brush, just go through manually like that. But then most of the time it's, you know, it's the lasso tool just because it's so faster and so much easier. So we go. It's come to shading. That's really fun watching this in uh, sped up. Actually, it makes it look, makes look, it makes everything I do look really, really easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so there we go. Just, yeah, lights coming from the right hand side. So da -da 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 -da, shade on the left. Easy, easy, easy. There, 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 there. There we go. And uh, oh, I've got the guy up top to do as well. 
Then, as I said, you know, I'll, I'll do all the all the skin, and I'll move on to the to the white of the eyes, which I'll see in a second. And uh, this is pretty much how it goes. So, yeah, that's pretty much you know. I've got the rest of this video left now, and I've already talked about everything that's happening. So, what should I talk about now? Um, I could talk about monkeys, but I don't know enough about monkeys. So I think I'll leave that out for the time being. Maybe for a future video. Um, there we go, see, so it's all the white stuff. Uh, what else can I talk about? I could talk about the fact that I have an upcoming convention appearance. My first, my very first convention. It's only local, it's uh, in Exeter. But if anyone's in, uh, watching this is in the area, on this coming Sunday, the 20th, I'll be in the Southgate Hotel, and I'll be drawing pictures, and there'll be free Haribo, and there'll be t-shirts for sale. Um, I just have a selection of artwork with me to say, hey, this is what I do. And I want what I really want to do is I want to get a t-shirt printed up that says I'm kind of maybe famous on the internet. Just so people know, you know, because my ego needs it. Um, but actually, uh, the guys who run the convention are, are a lot more interested um, in the upcoming upcoming comic project, professional comic project, I'm working on with uh, my good friend Annie Higgins. But uh, shush, shush, shush about that. It's all secret, super secret sort of <laughs> so uh so yeah so that's they're, they're very highly interested in that um but uh, they are they are nonetheless interested in the in the web comics so you know jazz and jazz stuff will be there because i've got more of that to show um and hopefully my good friend duke who i do a lot of video blogging with a lot of vcasts um he'll show up there and he's actually working on a book at the moment um based on the character of ben and it's what he does after he leaves Funky Town. It's basically like a go-between. It's a novel. Um, there might be some illustrations in it. We haven't really decided yet. But uh, it's, you know, I, I like the story. I like the ideas that you've come up with, and I hope you guys will too. So we hope to get it published soon. I, I think the first draft of it will actually be finished on the same day as the convention. So that'd be nice. Um, what I'd like to do is I want to talk to Duke and actually uh, see if he'd, he'd be okay with maybe having like a snippet of the book. Just like a chapter um, for people to have a have a browse at, you know, gauge people's reactions, see what they think. Um, yeah, that'd be quite cool. So yeah, if anyone's in the area, please feel free to come along and throw things at me if you want. <laughs> but there will be free Haribo. Oh yes, oh yes. So there we go. The video's coming quite close now, but that's uh, that's pretty much it. So that's that, I just apply that to the whole of the whole of the image. And uh, what I do is if I come back for a third. If I come back for a third video, what, um, I'll show you uh, the sort of effects I use for like, things like the windows and that. It's just little extra tidbits of knowledge for Photoshop. I don't know if it helps anyone at all, but uh, just really boasting, uh, boasting, boosting my own ego with this, really. So yeah, so there we go, and uh, yeah, I'm just about finished now. There we go. Oh, went a bit too far in the black there. Get rid of that. Too much selection. There we go. White. And the other side. I've got to get myself a lap coat at some point, actually. For fun. Um, there we go. Save. And, yeah, just apply that to the rest of the colours, and that's how it all works. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.